All right, guys, Easy Amateur Radio here, and we have been going through a bunch of HT radios, but today I want to get rid of the bow fangs and talk about VGC and VTEC. Now, this is the VGC N76. You've seen the N75 UHF radio on the channel, but this is the N76, and this is the VTEC UV Pro. Now, these are essentially the same radios, I've already unboxed this radio, but I'll go ahead and give everybody the uh, the peel here. There we go. I've been using this radio for about a week in Desert Tan. I haven't put the clip on it yet, but uh, I really like it. It's been a fun radio. I enjoy it. Their VGC is quickly becoming one of my favorite manufacturing brands. And here's the BTEC version. I ordered the BTEC because of this packaged and produced in the USA. So Baofeng Technologies takes radios and makes sure that they're clean spectrally and everything like that for the US market, but it is still 100% a Chinese radio. They're a Christian company, John 316. As a Christian, I really do like that John 14.6 on there as well. Uh, I really didn't know much about them other than kind of what they did until I started doing some research, found everything out. So I really, really wanted to support them. The VGC N76 comes in a variety of different colors. Orange, which I really wanted, but they were hard to get. A clear, another one I really wanted to get. I really wanted a clear one, but it was like $40 to ship and I wasn't going to do that. I found an American distributor. I could get um, this flat dark earth. And that's what I went with. And if you hear a little bit of meowing, I have a cat outside who likes to let everybody know that they're here. And this is the Baofeng Tech or the BTEC UV Pro. Essentially the same radio. You can get the this radio in a variety of colors as long as it's black. So this radio only comes in black, has some nice orange accents. This is fresh out of the packaging. I have not powered it up. You guys are seeing this radio for the first time with me nice black and orange radio i kind of like that a little bit more a little bit uh a little bit different all right pop open the back this is the exact same packaging that came with the uh n76 there's the battery this is going to be a 2600 milliamp hour battery and we'll bring the vgc over here pop the battery off the back of it they should be compatible we're going to find out same battery a lot more chinese written on there and we've powered it on there we go this battery is at 100 percent ready to go nice cool two-tone look uh, i like things that are compatible i'm probably going to sell a lot of my hts uh, because i have four of these vgc radios that are all compatible with each other battery wise charger wise app and function wise all right let's see what else we got there's the antenna sma connection like usual the same antenna that comes on the other one if you're new to radios they just screw in right there nice dual band antenna i'll be curious to see how well these actually function uh, they seem to work fine. I've been listening to APRS. I haven't even programmed repeaters. There's your USB-C charger. This is interesting. This did not come with the VGC. This is uh, to put your clip on the back. Manual programming stuff. A little bit better manual with BTEC. Big fan of BTEC Christian Company. So uh, pretty excited pretty excited about this little radio i might carry it more it just looks quite not as plasticky believe it or not as the other one will turn it on there you go it says uv pro and that's it and then we'll kind of click through everything it's got that tone on we don't want that channel group i like this because you can change your channel groups on the fly so if i wanted my say amateur radio emergency radio frequencies and family radio frequencies i could set that up these two radios are five watt dual band radios great radios i've updated the firmware on this one you can see the yellow uh, and everything and this one is set up for aprs right now i've been running aprs off the handheld 
back home to my home digipeter, but let's compare these two radios to the standard, the Baofeng UV5R. So you can see that they're taller. They are definitely chunkier, a little bit big-backed radio than this uh, Baofeng UV5R. And here they are next to the all-new Baofeng UV5R Mini. One of my favorite radios, a little bit bigger, well, a lot bigger, probably double the mass, double the size, and everything like that, but fantastic radios nonetheless. We'll go ahead and power that thing on. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Let's listen to the audio uh, off the Baofeng of the VGC. Give me a second. I have to go through here and change the channels. I don't like that. I don't like changing VFOs like that. I think that's kind of kind of convoluted, but it works. All right, let's listen to it on the Baofeng. KI5WES, KI5WES on the Baofeng UV5R Mini Vero VGC in 76. Sounded like APRS beacon on that. All right, now let's listen to this one. This is coming off of the Baofeng UV5R Mini Tiny Test Radio. KI5. Oh, I hit the wrong button. KI5WES, 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 testing the VGC N76 audio. A little bit of echo just because we were so close. So yeah, a little bit of echo just because we're so close. Good radio, good audio. Overall, I'm a big fan of these VGC walkarounds. Uh, let's take a look at them with the app. So now we've got the radios both connected to this one device. Two radios, one device. It's going to make things a little complicated to show you, but we're going to go to messages. We're going to say, hello, 76. We're going to send that out. This one's going to pop up. We're going to read it. Hello, 76. And now we're going to act like we're on a different device. We're going to swap over to the UV Pro. And there you go. Hello, 76. We're going to say, hello, other, 76. Send that. Boom. It's going to pop up. Oh, and a nice little message alert. There you go. Hello, other 76 or I there is what it corrected to. And it uh, looks like it's sending some audio, something like that. Not really sure what that's about, but it uh, might just be a little bug. We're going to go ahead and update the firmware on this really easy through the app. I went ahead and put the clip on it. We're going to uh, we're gonna do that and uh, get, get to using this radio, get it programmed up right. Guys, this is Easy Amateur Radio. VGC is really killing it. If you hung around long enough, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to get that nice peel. 73, guys. Easy Amateur Radio.